He's got it. Okay. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Probably one of the most exciting videos to date. Woo! We're cranking out one a day for you guys, but today's something special. Devin and I are picking up our dream bass boat today, man. We've been looking at these for quite some time. Obviously, you've seen the fishing page. We do kayak fishing. Get in the boat, baby! Bank fishing. He's going for the kill. He's got it. Yes! That's what we're talking about, guys. I upload a YouTube video a day, but today, driving out to Louisiana, man. We've talked to so many different dealerships across multiple states. And we went to the bank, grabbed our cashier's check, went to Chick-fil-A, got our coffee for this long drive. Just coming off one of the most fun Austin, Texas mini series we've ever put together for you guys. Hopefully you all have seen that content. If not, go check it out. But today is all about the new bass boat. Let's go ahead and get on the road. Zeke! Yeah, and Zeke's coming with us. He's, he's the new boat dog. You've never been a boat dog. He doesn't even know what the boat is. When we say boat, he doesn't get excited. But in the future, when we say boat, I know. You're gonna know. I know. Starting route to Bayou Outdoor Supercenter. Starting in Dallas, Texas, man. This is gonna be a long trip. Might be comprised of a few different gas station visits. We're getting about 11 miles to a gallon right now. I imagine with the uh, boat behind us, we'll probably be, we'll probably be chugging at a solid eight. Time for a long drive and some breakfast. All right, y'all, a few hour drive later, we are pulling up. Zeke, we're here, hold tight. Get the uh, AC going for him. All right, let's head indoors. All right, they allow pups. All right, man, we just got the full rundown over here. We're gonna go ahead and handle some paperwork and then we're gonna take you guys somewhere and really showcase this thing and tell you all about it. Oh, all right, guys. Yeah. Can y'all be careful? Yeah, appreciate all right, it. Man, so <laughs> we'll see you, thank you. All right, loading her up. Y'all, we made it out of there. Took like five minutes. Buying a boat is so much faster than buying a car. Cashier's check, took care of this thing. We gotta get those titles taken care of. We're gonna get the insurance taken care of, let you guys know the rates. And now we're gonna give you a full walkthrough, but we really wanna hit some Louisiana waters. So we came over here, we we're gonna just hit this pond real fast, but um, private property, no trespassing. You know that doesn't normally bug me, but this one right here, that one's got me a little worried. I don't know if we want to get arrested out in Louisiana. We might have to hit a pond down the street. <laughs> All right, man, we are seconds away from giving you the full rundown on the boat, but we have found a spot. Devin and I are just going to wet a line for half a second. We just want to see if we can catch our first Louisiana bass before heading back to Texas. We are not ever out here in Shreveport, so this would be a treat if we can get on a little something-something to go with the new boat, man. Can't wait to tell you guys all about this thing here in just a minute. Gotcha! Oh my dang it! Son of a He's got it. Okay, okay, set that down. He's got it. There we go. Louisiana bass, yes. That's what I'm talking about, man. Lunker log getting it done. Travel out of state, gotta use a confidence bait, you hear? Fatty, heck yes. That was a lucky catch right there. You, sir, could have gotten away from me. Wow. <laughs> Check us out, man. Lunker log bass, a healthy one too. Healthy one. Just working the bottom right here in the thick stuff. Y'all saw the cast, that was such a cool catch, man. We are getting to the boat now, man. I feel good, first Louisiana fish ever. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys, we got our first Louisiana bass. Now it's time to talk about this boat, man. So first of all, why did we even get this thing and what led up to this? All right, man, so it was not long ago, I could have cared less about fishing at all. <laughs> I came across some uh, fishing vlogs by the Guggen Squad when I was looking up how to hold a bass because I was like afraid to touch them and Devin would always get them off the hook for me. And then fast forward to now, uh, about three years into this uh, journey, Devin and I love bank fishing. We love kayak fishing and we're not gonna stop. But for you guys, we wanted to invest in ourselves, grow the channel, uh, and really maybe uh, make a full-time career out of this YouTube thing. And so with that being said, 
we went ahead, we've been saving up, saving up, saving up. We started working full time at 15. Man, when I turned 18, I had three jobs. Devin and I have had no more than a handful of weekends off in the last 10 years, uh, basically since we turned 18 years old. And for Devin and I, when it comes to our finances, we truly do prefer paying cash if we can, saving up the money and just paying it off in full. So it's truly a dream come true to be able to afford something like this that we have worked very hard for. So let's talk about this thing, you guys. Could not be more excited about this. It is a 2020 Ranger RT 188P, which is the padded hole. The P comes with like a cooler that the standard one doesn't. We're gonna get into all this, but check this thing out, man. Basically, I think this is the, this, we bought the color sight on scene. We had looked at the white in person. I don't think it was, I think it's like an off-white. I don't know if it would've went with the Tundra, but the red is sweet, man. I'm pretty sure it's crystal red metallic. I mean, it's beautiful, even better in person. They even shined up the tires for us. I mean, speaking of, it comes with the spare tire. It's got the boat cover in here. It comes with the uh, the fishing package, which I don't know why you wouldn't necessarily want. It has a, a spare tire, which for us with the single axle could be uh, could come in very handy. <laughs> it's got the uh, the cover, and then what else is on the fishing package? I believe the coin box is what this guy right here is called. The storage in between the uh, two seats, as opposed to like a third seat, which we didn't really need. We we like this here. It's just basically a step right up onto the deck. Um, yeah, you got your cup holders. You got your USBs down here. I mean, I'm gonna be all over on this first impression thing too, by the way, because that's just how I operate. So like, the live well's so big. I probably miss a compartment. We're not really going front to back or side to side. I'm just telling you things randomly. So <laughs> we didn't go with the 19 footer. We didn't go with the 17 footer. This is the 18 right there smack dab in the middle. Saves us like four grand from going with the uh, 198. So you know, a lot of people have talked to me about that. We want to actually spend that on uh, upgrading a few of the electronics, the trolling motor. This one came stock with a Minn Kota Max 70. And uh, we plan on putting a Garmin Force on this. We also plan on getting another Garmin unit for the front and running the Panoptix Live Scope. So we actually had them uh, take off the console unit that they had and put on the Garmin 93 SV unit. So that at least they can work together we can share the waypoints uh, things of that nature now with that being said we got trim up front we got the navigation lights you can go ahead and uh, we can set those up front and back for when we're out late we have the rod holder um, let me see how intuitive it is it's kind of a pain in the ass I prefer just the strap anyways uh, we could get a second one installed on the deck on this side but to be fair we can put a lot on one side and since this isn't the 19 footer or a 21 foot bass boat um, one side is going to be nice. That way we just got more room free on the front deck. And then uh, there's also plenty more storage here. You can put, I mean, this is designed for the butts of your rods and then you can put it under the strap. But let's be real, we'll probably put like six or seven combos there if we're taking friends out. I mean, there's no limit really. So, got a little storage here, almost like a day box. Spot for your pliers, your tools. Here's the rod locker. Oh, here's the uh, cover for the boat. Here's our lights for the back. Well, actually that's for the front navigation light. Here's the light for the back. We've got the rods for the seats that you can install on the deck. So if you want to have your seats on this thing, we got two more seats that are uh, in the tailgate of the truck to go front and back on this baby. And uh, yeah, if you were to get the standard 188, not the P version, you get, uh, this is all one section right here. But if you get the P, this is one section here. And then this is a cooler. This is super cool because, you know, instead of having to bring a cooler, you can just toss ice in here, toss all your drinks, whatever you want to keep cold, and you can just drain it when you're done fishing. I mean, that's pretty legit. I mean, a cooler is going off the side of this thing or it's going to be cluttering up our deck space. So this is super nice. We wanted this little deal and we are glad we got it. Uh, the Garmin unit that we've got in case you guys wanted to scope this thing out. It's the Echo Map UHD 93 SV plus transducer. So, so here is the transducer for that unit there. We opted for the Mercury Pro XS 115 horsepower motor over just the stock, mainly because that's the one this boat had, but also uh, plenty of people told us if we could get that Pro XS, go ahead and get it just the higher end. It doesn't cost you too much more. Mercury reliability. We've heard nothing but great things. Trailer looks pretty dope. I believe for 2020, this design is different with the, uh, yeah, whatever you call that. Anyways, that's different. That's new. Um, <laughs> I think for 2020, maybe this is paint matched instead of just a set color. It, it, was that right? Was this not paint matched on the other, on the 2019s? Yeah, I forget what the difference was on the 2019s versus the 2020s on this thing. I think this was maybe not color matched, but anyways, and it's not a perfect match. Just got more flake. Oh yeah, that is new for 2020. This guy right here, which we're not going to use at all. So this little fiberglass piece is built in and you can mount your screens right in there. And I believe it's up to nine, it might be 10 inch, but I think it's nine inch screens. Cause basically we want to get a 10 inch Garmin unit for the front. 
and it's not gonna fit, so we're gonna have to put it on a RAM mount, which is fine, that's okay. I also wanna get them to install some USB ports right here, so we can have GoPro power, cell phones charging up front, whatever the case is. Got your cup holder. Here's your spot for your navigation lights. Oh, this is cool, pop-up cleats. Because on some of the colors for this boat, you actually don't get pop-up cleats. You get ones that are right here on the inside of the boat and they stick out. And so you might stub your toe, damage some rods. Uh, the things that you don't think might happen could happen. So you definitely want those pop-up cleats if it's a, an available option for you. Loving it. Bam! There's all the batteries. Look at all that extra space in there. Here we have, boom, whatever you want. So much storage, we don't even need live well very good sized live well there's this divider in here um i mean this thing is freaking huge i could probably like fit in it let's go oh zeke fits oh, you're a boat dog it's his first time he doesn't even know he's gonna work the trolling motor the trolling motor the trolling motor it's your favorite you're the first fish on the boat show him all your bass tricks sit zeke sit shake yeah show him Show them you can shake those bass hand when we catch them. Can you put them in the live well? Yeah, will you fit in the live well? Come here. Come on. We gotta show them, we gotta show them how big this is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hop in. Hop in. Look at that. Guys, you can catch a 50 pounder. Oh, say they can catch big fishies for the live well. The live well's so big. Yes, it holds all the Zeeks. Very big live well. Like, here's an iPhone. That's like the size of the fish I catch, so I should have no problem. Oh, don't leave that out. You guessed it, another storage unit. Working our way up, the cockpit. Oh man, the seats, I'm digging it, man. Yeah, and here's what we're looking at up front. Garmin unit, we'll crank that up in the future videos when you guys see this thing on the water. Trim up, down, RPMs, all the goodies. You got your horn, bilge pump, miles per hour, fuel gauge. I think they hooked us up with like half a tank. They said it's got like 12 gallons in it. Uh, we got the um, got the live well, recirc automatic, empty it out. Got our little throttle trim up down. I believe it's a uh, standard issue, ladies and gentlemen. Just another good old bass boat. We're almost done. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So the rod storage in this boat, I believe, is eight foot six rods. Eight and a half foot rods you can put in this rod storage right here. Uh, so that is legit because I do plan on picking up some eight foot sixes for heavy swim baits. I'm liking our eight foot one that we got off Facebook Marketplace for cheap, but I would love that extra six just for the casting distance, those hook sets from across the ponds, lakes. You get the point. Then, whoa, more rod storage for your shorter rods. I believe that holds seven footers. Don't quote me. But either way, you got plenty right here in the center. More than enough for Devin and I. That's for dang sure. She's got a foldable tongue right here. Um, we're going to be keeping her in a storage unit that is uh, plenty big, actually, so it's not going to necessarily be needed. But she's got it. Lastly, guys, we are consulting YouTube on how to put the cover on because you don't just lay the cover over the boat and then start driving. So <laughs> the boat cover is literally as easy as one, two, three. You go from the front to the back. Then you tighten up this guy right here. Then you tighten up these buckles right here. Then you cinch down the side right there all there is to it man first timers out here man we had to watch that youtube video because now we got a long drive home and it's looking like storms could be on the way with that being said man that about sums up the brand new ranger rt 188p we just cannot thank you guys enough for the recent growth on the channel with us doing these one a day uploads it has made all the difference we're getting so many more uh subscribers and we appreciate every single one of you so many more comments flooding in and i try to get back to all of them while i still can because i know it's not going to last much longer we're going to have so many of you guys commenting we will not be able to keep up and it has just been such a ride this whole youtube thing but we're only looking to grow. We are hungry, man. Not satisfied just yet. We are not stopping. We got to go hit the big lakes, catch some big fish. And I hope you guys are ready to witness it, man, because we're about to have a ton of fun on this thing. So let's go. 2020 is our year. Let's get in. <gasps>